Can DACA travel outside of the U.S.? Es una pregunta que I know brings a lot of confusion because most of us believe that we cannot travel outside of the U.S. with DACA. I am a DACA recipient just like you and I recently traveled to Mexico. I did advance parole and I want to share my experience with you. En este video voy a estar hablando acerca de las cinco cosas que te recomiendo si es que quieres hacer advance parole. Number one, if you're planning to do advance parole, you have to make sure that you have the money to pay for the application. The application is $575. And so we have to plan ahead. Not only are you going to have the expenses that come along with traveling, you also have to have the money to apply for the program. Number two, Keep in mind that you have to have supporting evidence. The three reasons to apply for advanced parole are education, professional, and humanitarian reasons. And if you are planning to travel outside of the country with DACA, I recommend that you follow my channel so that you can also learn creative ways to apply for advanced parole. And if you are planning to travel with advanced parole and you don't have an idea of what kind of evidence you need, Make sure you stick around and follow my channel. Join my Spanglish Dreamers Facebook group for ideas on how to do it. Number thir three. <laughs> if you plan on traveling with advance parole, necesitas un pasaporte. I don't know how many times I have to repeat this, but yes, 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 you're going to need a passport. So make sure you go to your consulate, your consulado, wherever country you are from. Make sure you find that passport and have it on hand before stepping out of the country. Whether you're a DACA recipient or not, when you're traveling abroad, you're going to have to require, you're going to be required a passport to get on that plane back to your country. So in our case, we cannot, you know, juggle around. Número cuatro. Recuerda que necesitas estar vacunado contra el COVID. I know there's a lot of like different opinions about the vaccine, but just make sure you have it because you're going to need it. Los non-citizens, we are required. So... I don't know what to tell you, girl. Yes, you're going to need the vaccine, okay? But if you're coming back to get on that plane, you are going to be required to provide vaccine records, okay? So just have it done. You don't necessarily need to have the boosters, but you do need to be fully vaccinated. So keep that in mind. Number five, I know that sounds cliche, but be informed. Remember, we are not traveling on a vacation that we can you know, relax and come whenever we want. You need to be informed. You need to know that there is an expiration date on your advance parole. You need to know that there are requirements. You cannot bring any type of contraband. I know it sounds silly, but those are the things that are going to keep you from re-entering the country. So make sure you don't do any pendejadas. Estas son las cinco cositas that I think are very important for you to keep in mind as you're considering doing advance parole. But make sure you follow my TikTok. I do have free juicy life workshops that um, talk about how to do your application on your own, your advanced parole, and also your DACA renewal. So make sure you keep that in mind. I know there's not a lot of information here on my YouTube channel yet, um, but make sure you follow my TikTok and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to learn how to do your own application, how to do your own advanced parole, how to do your own DACA renewal, this is the channel for you.